Hello everyone and welcome back for some more King Hedeon. Because we did a lot of expanding last episode, so we managed to form the Kingdom of Poland. We still have a bit of a border gore situation here in the middle, so we might clean that up. But other than that, we're probably just gonna take it easy on the wars in this episode. So I'm just gonna unpause and let some stuff happen. And we're already getting some champions, because I did ask for some of them to come over. And <laughs> he does not like us. Um, I, I don't think we're gonna invite him. Oh. Damn, he is really good, though. Holy crap. Okay, so that's mostly because <laughs> who we are. Because we're evil, zealous, personal diplomacy, sin, sadistic, and sadistic. So, yeah, I don't think he's ever gonna like us. We could just bring him in as a champion. And just never give him any land, but... I'm just gonna keep him pinned, and I'm gonna think about it. Uh, we do have a event in the court. Repent today! Learn the truest truth! Step into the light! Since Kothar joined my court, his persistent attempts to convert everyone to his foreign cult have come, become the background noise to my everyday life. Day and night he stalks the courtyard, patrols the hallways and hides in wait for unsuspecting bypassers in dark corners, ready to persuade them with his insistent screeching. My courtiers are exhausted, and after Kothar ambushes me on my way to the, uh, to the chamber pot, I'm inclined to agree with their, di with their discontent. So. Uh, we can ki kick him out, or we can imprison him, and he can just preach to the rats. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's the guy we just talked about. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I have to fight him. Um. Well, we are pretty equal. So, you know what we can do? We can do... First of all, we can do a blood surge. Just to get a uh, little bit of a buff to our... To our prowess. We can also do a little bit of a shape-shifting. Because we got some cool forms to take. And... Right. I also got some comments about... Uh, that I should do some vicissitude on myself, which I would love to do that, because that sounds awesome. Just give me wings and horns and all the good stuff. But I don't really know how to do that, because I can't find it in here. And the only way I can find it is in this, and I don't know what vicissitude on my face does. And I don't want to change my age, because I like how we look. But we can transform into... The Charopteran Marauder form, if you want to. Or a sentient pool of blood, but that's not gonna help us a lot. We can awaken the Zulu shape as well for a little bit less. So, let's go with this. It's gonna tank our diplomacy, but I think that's, that's zero anyway. So, we're gonna just shapeshift. We'll look badass, by the way, which is awesome. And uh, we're gonna rip him apart. We are slightly favored. Can we roll that 51%? Yes! Perfect! Got him! So, you are our prisoner. What do we want to do with you? Well, first of all, I mean, we'll... Oh, I got some kind of butterfly wings! Oh, that is awesome! It looks like, um, like painted glass in a church or something. That looks awesome! I'm not sure if that's supposed to look like that, or if it's some uh, graphical glitching going on, but I actually really like that. But, uh, we're gonna change back. So, we're gonna shapeshift back into a humanoid form. And, yeah, that's fine. There we go, we just needed it to fight a little bit. And while we're doing stuff here, I realize we can bite animals! I forgot we could do that! And, uh, I mean, a wolf is awesome. What do we get from a bear? We got a little bit of a martial, a little bit of prestige, but I think I want a wolf. That's just cool. So, bind a wolf. I don't think we get to name it and stuff. I think it's just, uh... Oh, wait, right. It's, uh... We get a pelt? <laughs> but I think this is just that we mount the wolf, which is cool. And I forgot that we had a diamond-studded uh, clothing thing. But, on to our prisoner. 
we are gonna start by blood bonding him. So now he is heavily blood bonded. We can also just uh, the man come. Oh no, he's not gonna do that. We can force him to re to uh, renounce claims, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything. I mean, we have a strong uh, hook on him now, so I think we can just force him to convert through our hook. Could employ him as a executioner as well, but I don't think we need one. So, because I think we like to get our hands dirty with that. So we're just gonna negotiate his release. And there we go. And let's demand a conversion. There we go. And now he's gonna like us just plenty. And he is gonna be a good champion. Excellent. That went perfectly. <laughs> so, what were we doing? I think we're just passing uh, passing the time. Oh, did we lose a... Oh, we lost a part of our herd, I think. Yeah, we did. Oh, it's the young one. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's find us some... Actually, I think we are gonna... We got full... Actually, we get dread from that. I kind of wanted to cover this up a little bit just to get some hostile scheme resistance again. But maybe we'll keep it for the dread. Because we <laughs> right now we're at 98.3 dread. So people should be terrified of us. Which I am all for. So yeah, let's just let's just find some mortals with sanguine humors. And that's gonna be fine, I think. And hey, you're young and fleeting and negligible. I'm assuming fleeting is slightly better because it's got a little bit of a thingy in the blood drop. So we are gonna hurtify you and we're gonna just drink you. There we go. Excellent. So we also have some... Oh! We lost some grandeur. Oh, and a notable guest arrived. Well, you're exceptional. Who the hell are you? You're unlanded. You like us plenty. Hmm. Can we... We can't... Can't invite you. Oh, there's Recruit. Yeah, okay. She is way too expensive for us. Huh. But if we had a little bit of land, then we could definitely... Definitely just uh, give her some. I think we have a truce with you, yeah? Yeah. And probably with you as well. No. Okay. So, let's... Uh, let's just do a quick little war over here. Because I want to recruit her. So, raise the local army. That's going to be fine. Let's get rid of these guys. And just go and just casually march in here and... Just kill everyone. Oh! And they got some help. Well, that's not gonna help them. Well, I guess technically it is helping them, but it's not enough. So let's just uh, drink up. And he is gonna join our horde. Herd. Not horde. We're not some kind of weird. Uh, weird uh, orcish army or something. So. We get any. Oh, we don't get we don't get a lot of fame for for these. That's too bad. But that is uh, we should have maxed out war score already. So we just need to just need to win this siege. And they're gonna keep running into us. And how much are we losing each time? We are losing more than them because they're basically us sending in champions. Although no, there it's kind of equal. So that's fine, I suppose. There we go. Um, have we... We have caught someone. That's good. You're not very great. Your leash is that lady. How much do we get for you? 30 gold. Do you want 30 gold or do we want to... To uh, execute her? 30 gold or... 100 piety and 100 learning lifestyle. I think we might actually execute her. So, let's just... 
Do a little bit of that. Do a little... Alright. Do a little bit of that. <laughs> Do a little bit of that. There we go. And now we can peace out. Excellent. So, let's... Uh... Right, you had some really good diplomacy, right? I seem to remember you having... Yeah, she has a really good diplomacy and a really good learning as well. She's just good at everything. But we are gonna grant Sier Sierads to you. Because you're a good champion, you're a good chancellor, and just in general, excellent. So we're gonna assign you. There we go. And we do have... Do we have a faction? No, okay. I guess we had a faction, because I did notice a Flaming Fist there, but I guess they all thought better of it. Which absolutely makes sense. And I guess we're just gonna hold on, or wait for this, and uh, once we need a title to give to someone, we can just uh, pop that real, real quick. Good. How are we doing on learning? I kind of want to start getting some skill points there. We need to kill six more people until we learn enough to get one of these. It's gonna take a while. We need more people to kill. And once we... Don't think this is anything we want. Nah. Whole body is not for us. We are immortal and all of that, so that doesn't really matter. We can get some churchy stuff. I don't think... Well, actually, we do have some uh, some conversions to do, actually. And scientific doesn't really do anything for us either, since we're Polish. Since if we just... Uh, if we want to, like, diverge culture. That is going to be extremely expensive, mostly because it is this one. No, yes. 100% more to hybridize, so... Yeah, I think we're probably gonna go down the religious thing. And speaking of, we should uh, just convert Krakow. Because that's gonna be our capital. And once that's fully converted... Oh, we did finish the control that, though. So that's good. So I guess let's build a laboratory. Because I want to have a laboratory basically everywhere. Because, uh, I mean, we're gonna have to <laughs> do some experiments wherever we go. So, of course, we're gonna do that. And blunder results in claim. Is that... Uh, yeah, we got an unpressed claim. That's very nice. Don't think we're gonna need it, because we just have holy wars on everyone we want around us. But that's not a problem. And yeah, we have domain limit, that's fine. Mood of the clans. Oh, right! We should... See if we have some primogens to get. Right, 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 right. So, there's some really good ones there, but... Gotta see if we even can get any of these. We should absolutely be able to get a Simiche. Well, that's just natural dread. <laughs> we got natural dread. I guess we could... Uh, could assign someone just to get a mood bonus to all of these, because... We're gonna have negative 35 with all Tsumiche vassals. And that's a lot of them. So we might as well just grab the best one, which is our cousin and court chaplain. Actually, let's see what else we have, because we might wanna give him... Nah, let's let's make him a Tsumiche primogen. That's fine. So, anyone else? Seems to mostly us have... Well, I guess you're not terrible, but yeah, that's pretty bad. We have plenty of ways to lose stress, so we're not too worried about that. Um, you would give us a little bit of personal scheme power. Don't think that's necessary. The court seer would give us more piety. And a little bit of diplomacy. So you would be really good at that. That's uh, half a piety and two diplomacy, which isn't bad. And, ooh, we should have a lot of intimidated taxes, though. So he might pay for himself. So, actually, what we are gonna do... Um, did we ever increase this? No, we didn't. 
So let's it, let's boost that up. We got plenty of prestige, and that should give us a little bit of extra money and a little bit of extra levies. And yeah, I do I do really like this because that is that is a potentially a lot of money. So if we impose a little bit, let the taxes like recalculate. That is seven point five. Point you, we're down to 7.2. Does it change with a tick? Okay. He basically pays for himself. He basically costs uh, 0.2, which is fine, because we get piety and we get a bunch of other stuff. So that's going to be pretty good. I don't think we have any, any good artifacts, really. Uh, do we have any court jesters? Nah. Bodyguards are fine, but I think we're pretty okay. Unless we have an excellent one. Now, okay. A personal champion. Could grab this guy who... Who we just beat up. So, we've proven that we don't necessarily need him, but he's pretty good. What... Uh, what clan are you? Where is there? Oh, you're not Nosferatu. Too. Of course you are. I can tell by looking at you so I, I don't think we're gonna need that we might want something else though artificers meh okay I guess that's good enough but we got some good ones at least and we filled the uh, Tsumiche Primogen which is very good my court chaplain something <laughs> <laughs> something I'm not going to be able to pronounce, has received the significant donations of gold from this estate of a wealthy but childless landowner, now deceased. He claims the departed lived a very frugal and pious life and wished for the gold to go where it could be, could do some good. Court chaplain Kochikichu insists <laughs> that I re receive part of the donation as I am a paragon of Via Mutationis in Poland. A tempting offer indeed. So we can get a little bit of money because it will serve the realm. We can just uh, give it to the poor, but I don't think so. <laughs> that doesn't seem like us. Or we can just uh, say that we deserve more. And I think that's just, I think we def deserve a little bit, like we deserve all of it, right? I, I think that's right. Oh, we're being raided. Well, I guess they already left, but... Should have paid attention to that. We should have killed the someone. And we got some more sanguine. We're almost done with this. So a dual move wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's go with that then. Let's get that dual dual uh, effects going. And actually, can we have a look at all of our like courtiers? Who likes us a lot? Like, do we... Do we need some friends? Because it would be nice to get some friends with some good... Uh, some good disciplines. Because then might, we might be able to learn some disciplines. I mean, we could go with Protean. I don't think we have that. You were a... a oh, we can get Dominate from you. And you like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, first of all... Would you like to... Dem to I hate it when it doesn't say <laughs> the chances. Fine. Do you want a hook? Is that it? Ah, uh, dang it. You're gonna be mad. Oh, well. But I think we are gonna try to befriend... Y Wait, where is befriend? No, that's... Should be here, right? We all have romance. Hmm. Well, let's start by swaying you, then. I could have sworn there's a befriend option. Is that... Am I just confused? Has that never been a thing and I just... And I just imagined that you can have befriending schemes or what? It is perhaps not my place to question your strategy. Yet I wonder why you allow the enemies of our faith to go about their, their wicked business without interference. We have both the means and the right to deliver flesh, flesh just justice upon them. So surely we should do so. I mean, 
Now we've we've already warred a bunch. I I don't need to invade any of the infidels, and we're 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 uh, we're converting some people too. So I think we're doing our part. So I'm not too worried. We can create some well a duchy, but I don't think we're gonna do that because I don't think we need to. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna hold on to the money instead. Because I want the flesh laboratory. So we're gonna save up some money. A new fad is coming over these fickle mortals. Courtly love. With tales of knights in shining armor and chaste romance with married ladies. As all things related to mortals, this will not survive the test of time. But until then... Uh, test of time, but until then, it is always good to understand their current fancy. Your agents recommended the help of one Ulrich von Lichtenstein, a roaming knight and poet of some renown, known as an exemplar of knighthood. The man has a silver tongue and a solid sword arm, and could be useful to you as in more way than in more ways than one. I mean, I guess you're all right. Do we wanna? Do we wanna embrace you? I mean, we got we got the means to. He's he's all right. Got decent prowess already, and he is gonna get a lot better as a vampire, obviously. He's got some all right stats. Yeah, you know what? Why not? I think he'd make a decent enough uh, enough character. And he's one of those historical historical people, and I always like those. My ward Samboja has come of age, and it well, if you say. <laughs> Dang it, if you say so. For the longest time, I was hoping that a good tutelage would be enough to teach Shamboja the intricacies of administration. Well, we should have probably taught, used intrigue though, since uh, that's what I'm good at. But, nah, this is fine. She had an aptitude for, uh, for stewardship, so... Uh, few would be impressed by her understanding of the subject, but she has at least developed a sound grasp on the basics of management. At the beginnings of a... A sensible frug frugality. So, she's got... She's a thrifty clerk, which is fine enough. My Chancellor Magistrix M Merlinda has worked hard to convince our neighboring realm and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Count Yishtak Ben Afram of Lechisha... I don't know. Is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. So, we can fight him whenever we want, if we wish to. Where the hell are you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess... Uh, can we not just uh, go and visit their court? We're supposed to be able to do that somehow. But we can have a literalist debate. <laughs> ah. Oh, they have more kids. Um, human. And human. But he is smart and a giant. So potentially very good. But I need you to come over to my neck of the woods. I forget how to do this. I mean, we can't blood sorcery and just teleport her, but that seems... Uh, that seems dangerous. Oh, we can just imprison her. There's tyranny, but who cares? There we go. Problem solved. I'm sorry. But... I forgot how to bring you to court without uh, doing that. So, we are going to ghoul you. There we go. And you got fortitude and potence. So, how do you only have 12 prowess? Hail, giant. Fortitude, but... There should be more. There we go. Okay. I had it on post. That explains it. So, I guess we can just ransom you. Or... Nah. Um, we're gonna have a blo uh, strong hook anyway, so... I guess not. Let's just release you. That's gonna be good. We're gonna get some opinion. Not that we need it. And we are, well, we're going to start by 
marrying you off to someone. So, we need inheritable traits. Let's go for age. Well, hello. You're 10, but you're also a ju Wait, this is your brother, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I mean, we can go for a quick. The, we already have intelligent and hail on this character. You're, you're an Am or Herculean, which is real nice. But we also don't want to grab someone too old. So this quick character is not bad. He's got good prowess. And he's lustful. And he's a... Ah, oh, he's a revenant. Oh, he's a Zadruga. <laughs> yes. Okay, that is... Perfect. We will 100% invite this guy. Or invite. We're gonna have them marry. They're gonna have the greatest of kids. And they're gonna be great. That means it's time to grab this because we're gonna give them land. But that also means that it is time... Huh. Can... Will you let me transmogrify you? Because we're gonna have to fight you in a duel for it. But I want to make you a giant so you are so that your offspring also become giants because better chances and all that. So for a f for a few brief moments, Eowyn and I pace in a lazy half circle, each awaiting for an opening. I couch my spears, my spear ready to defend myself, while he clutches his sword firmly to hand. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. With a sudden twitch, our bouts begins. So, I guess we can do this fairly quickly. We can do this by just rousing a little bit, a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? We can feed afterwards. With a flick of my hand, I take the opponent's... Uh, uh, I make my opponent's blood boil. My form is excellent. He is reeling. Very good. We are... Well, we can... Uh, can do it again. Yeah, let's just do it again. There we go. Easy win. And uh, we are gonna have to hunt now though. Because I am hungry. But we will modify his body. And make him into a giant. Oh, we are... We're close to... I think that's gonna be enough actually. We kind of just want to make him... A or actually, I want to make him beautiful as well. So let's let's drink this guy because we can make him beautiful. Might be frenzied. I'm gonna take those chances. And he is... Oh, he is beautiful. Excellent. That's enough of that. And... Hey, we're good. So We did take a little bit of stress, but we're not frenzied. And we are hunting. And we're gonna have to drain that fucker. So, my emotions have become more unstable every day that passes. All-encompassing joy will replace the most profound sorrow from one moment to the next. And both my retinue and I grow wary. If only I could find a way to tame this whirlwind inside so we can become contrite but i don't want to i don't want to claim that i have any faults we could be irritable which uh, i mean i think that sounds like more like us that's lashing out at people because we are better than other people so i think we're gonna go with that and uh, i think we're also going to manage some of our ghouls and, okay, you have the right blood type. So, let's, uh... Oh, I thought there was a way to... To drink from you. Oh, well. I guess not. I guess that's just her stuff, but... Oh, well. Level of Splendor increased. And uh, we have been overwhelmed by stress again. Okay, we need we need a prisoner. 
and we need a title so I guess it's time we are going to declare war for this tiny little county we're gonna raise a local army we're gonna get rid of these as usual and back away and you're just gonna go and kill these a secret exposed my son Count Radovan is Istvik has accused my grandson Christo for having a having had an affair with his lover Barbara. I do not see what the fuss is about. It's not as if lust is an unnatural affliction or anything. Whatever. A courtier between friends. My father Duke Bail Bailabog has honored me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Uh, Bailabog approached me excitedly. Well met, King Hirion Yaroslavich. It pleases me that to see you thriving here in Poznan. It occurred to me that that uh, Sahoji here might be of service in your court. She has a myriad of uh, of streams of influence and ways to take care take care of things quietly. I would make use of her myself, but alas, it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see her great talent go to waste. Won't you take her in and unleash her potential? So who are you? Nah, you're pretty mediocre, and I don't want to spend 350 prestige for that. Don't become a rival, please. Thank you. And this is Hunt, this is Embrace. So I guess we're gonna Embrace first, which... Uh, that's... That is fine. And we get some Sanguine Resonance. Excellent. Because we get a big drink from that, which is always nice. Because I kind of forgot that we were uh, we were embracing, so we're gonna get plenty of uh, of blood. So we're good. Your new child is taking his first tentative steps into the night. Now experienced enough to understand how to feed, it will soon be time to begin a formal education, which will be very important for his future. But also, blah blah blah. We are gonna just. Let him figure it out. He's fine. And I, I don't think we need to be sated. So let's just take all of the stuff. We get a skill point. And sin uh, since his has shown a keen interest in court etiquette. What? Okay, whatever. Uh, always trying to learn more about the clans and various politics of your race. He is already a valuable asset in your diplomatic arsenal. You know that fledglings are fickle, uh, fickle though, and this interest might not last. As such, you are considering cashing in on this as soon as possible. Oh, we can make him a really good diplomat. Which uh, I do like. Yeah, that's uh, making a... Act. Oh, he's really strong though. He got some good disciplines. Wait, he got dominate? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> we didn't even have that. Uh, right, we should spend this real quick. And so far your child has followed your th faith mostly because you said so. Obviously though, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. You will have to take some time to start this, this part of the teaching or hire some learned practitioners of the road to help your progeny along. Alright, we need, we need to get a prisoner. I don't want to pay for it, so we're just gonna grab the stress. It's fine. I guess we can just lash out at someone. Count Countess Casimira, my dear vassal, I smiled ruthlessly. Were you born such a vile doxy, or did that develop later in life? Ah, oh, that feels better. And, I mean... What? No! No! He was... so good wait no this is uh, this is my first school right you look a lot like your daughter I thought it was uh, this guy first because that would have been I would have been so sad um, but yeah okay it's uh, she lost her husband which is fine he was mortal so we should definitely find Oh, wait. All oh, right. Since he has a title, I can't... 
I'm your master, I should be able to tell you who to marry. Okay, whatever. Uh, we are gonna lose a little bit of stress, that is beautiful. And can we please get some prisoners? And uh, did we just kill all of their troops? Yeah, we did. Kind of wish they would just come in and attack us a bunch of times so we could uh, get some uh, good opportunities to um, imprison some people. But, oh well. Disturbing reports as your spies have finally tracked the recent vanishing of your child. Wait, they took my child? <laughs> to a group of rebels in the fri fringes of your realm. These so-called ferores are plagued to any self are a plague to any self-respecting vampire. Wanting to abolish the fine traditions of the blood in a, in a vain attempt of freedom, your child must be quick, must quickly shown the error of his ways. Or he, uh, he even might start to believe these idiocies. Okay. Mm, I don't want that. I don't want... Well, I don't want you to become rivals either. Well, hmm, what is easier? To make him convert from a hostile faith or to like stop being rivals? Because this is, I think this is kind of up to chance since uh, sometimes he just pops up and say, Hey, congratulations, you, you don't have to be a rival with this person anymore. And I guess we can just sway him because I think higher, higher opinion means less rival tendencies so let's uh, make sure he's the right uh, the right religion and uh, I think you're you're you oh we are our sway has not oh I guess it because we're a tyrant <laughs> that's all right our sway so far is just 25 yeah okay let's stop that and uh, start swaying our rival child there. And where? Oh, that's not where it is. There it is. And it's not going to be super likely because uh, we're rivals, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try. And I wish we had a little bit of a blood bond to start with since we just turned him, but oh well. But we finished this, which uh, I don't think we got any prisoners for- Oh, we did! Seven months ago! Excellent! Okay, so let's go torture a little bit. Just lose all of that stress. That just takes off all of the stress. We lose like 120 stress every time we torture someone, which is just nuts. Oh, and we can hold the cord as well. And uh, actually, how much? Eh, just 10 gold. We're gonna experiment on you, I guess, after we torture you. There we go. Excellent. I mean, I don't think... I don't think I wanna introduce my uh, rival child who hates me to my court. So, I don't think we're gonna do the presentation. Because that's just... Feels foolish. So we're gonna enforce this demand and we are going to grant that to our third ghoul. So, you. How would you like to be a countess? I bet you would love that. So, there you go. Have fun with that. Now, make me a bunch of revenants. And we should also just... Uh, Move the realm capital over there. This is our capital now. It is excellent and I love it. Let's disband all of our troops. And uh, I think we are going to end this episode here. Because uh, we fixed our border gore situation a little bit. We've uh, gotten a couple of things done. And uh, we do need to hold court. But this episode is going to go too long if we hold court. So I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.